the the story of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, uh, in short, uh, begins with three Tanaim speaking about the Romans and how, how they've affected society and look what they're doing. So, so why why did they really get into trouble? Because uh, Rabbi Yehuda kind of spread the words without. So, so, let, let's first like the, the we had four Tanaim there, right? Four okay, four correct. Rabbi Yehuda Bar Ilai was is the one that did, was praising the Romans. Praising the Romans. Right? They, they, they did so, so much like nice things, markets and bathhouses and bridges. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That was Rabbi Yehuda Bar Ilai. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, uh, maybe they're doing it for the wrong intentions. Not maybe. They, they, did, they, they, they didn't do it for the right purpose. Right. They did it for themselves. They didn't, they didn't do it for Hashem. They didn't for, do it for the Torah. They didn't do it for Am Israel. They did it for the wrong purpose. Okay. Okay. And then we had uh, uh, Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi who was said, silent. Silent. He kept silent. And, and Yudha Ben Gerim. There was a fourth one. Right? Yes, yes, yes. That he was the one that was uh, going to, to speak. And the, and the rumor spread. And then, uh, yeah, and then what I, was the again, result? Again, not with bad intentions, just, uh, hey, yeah, guys, yeah. let's speak. Look what we talked Rumors, about today. Yeah. Uh, tell, the, tell the guys. A form. Of okay. Form, yeah. so, 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 what is, so what's the question about the story? First of all, sh- should, have, uh, sh- should the Tanaim even be talking about, uh, they weren't talking about Torah, they were talking about the Romans. So it... Is, is that a form of punishment uh, or because it was spread and that's a form of Lashon Ara? Yes, we could say because uh, it was uh, it's not slander, but uh, it shouldn't have spread in the first place. But the fact that they were talking four huge Tanaim were not talking Torah it, to begin with. Uh, maybe, maybe, that, I mean, what do we learn here? Uh, the fact that they, they weren't even talking Torah for one second. I talk about the Romans. We're we're looking at someone else's plate. We're looking in. The, uh, <laughs> this is well, how I understood. Okay, it. so 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 you you understand that that the the mistake was to speak about someone else, and not Torah, and especially not Torah. with the four. So for, forget forget even spreading the words uh, to begin with. Just you're saying the starting point is starting like to, point, to to look to look on, on someone else's deeds. And, and, and that I could be way off, but maybe maybe there's something something there. But I I, I wouldn't dare mm-hmm. cross any lines with, with the, the Tanaim. There must have been a reason they said it. Okay. But what are we, what are we learning here? What's because there's okay. a lot of right. in that whole story. There's, there's, there's many ways how to learn it. There's many ways how to learn it. I'll te- I'll tell you the, the chiddush that that Hashem, Hashem gave me today about this story. I was thinking about this story today, like Baomer. Every like Baomer is an opportunity to to look again on the different stories of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. So, the the first the first point that is that was a new way for me to look at it is that um, I was looking on on the words of Rabbi Yudah Bar Eli that is like praising the Romans. That I I always thought about it as a wrong thing that he was praising the Romans. And I thought that Rabbi Shimon Baruch is putting him in the right place. You you wrong, and and this, the, and, and then he tells him no. It's like the way that they, that how what is the right approach? How to look on the Romans? Mm-hmm. Okay, that we shouldn't praise them. That was my my old perception. Today I looked at it in a different way. That Rabbi Yudah Bar Eli have a very very strong point within his view that he's looking on the world around him, that the Romans were controlling the world in that time. And he's saying, look, Hashem is so good to us. Hashem wanted to, to help us to learn Torah. So Hashem brought this Roman Empire that they will do for us the building of the bridges, building markets, building bathhouses. And that is giving us the like a, a higher, we, we have the, the, the facilities that is giving us the opportunity to learn Torah better. Mm. We don't need to deal with all of those things. We don't need to build those bridges now. We don't need to build the bathhouses now. We have them that they are doing it. And it's wonderful. 
look, look on the bright side of life. Very good, very nice, no? Very good point. It's a good, it's a good, it's, a, it's not, it's not a, right? So what Rabbi Shem Yochai didn't like about it? For sure, Hashem did it for us. That's not the, the, the point that was wrong. The, for, the point that was wrong in Rabbi Yudha Bar Eli, according to Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, is that it's not a reason for you to praise the Romans. Because when you are praising the Romans and you're giving the merit of the Torah that we are learning now to the Romans, to their deeds, so you are extending their kingdom. You are giving them merit. You are judging them favorably and then Hashem is multiplying their blessing. And they, they, are, they are not living their life according to the Torah. They are not... They, they, so, so we should... Yes, we should look on our existence that Hashem is doing everything for the right purpose for us to, to be able to learn Torah. That's right. But it shouldn't be in your mind, in your heart, in your words, a, way, a, a reason to praise them and to give them strength. That was the, the point of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. So, so he's saying, it's not that, that the bathhouses and the bridges and the, and the markets are negative things, but you have to say strongly that what the Romans did was not for the right purpose. They did it for themselves. They are selfish. They are, all what they are doing, they are doing only because of their, uh, their, their comfort. And that's it. Don't give them any extra merit. Don't extend the, their kingdom. Mm. Don't judge them favorably. Because they are, they are negative people. They are doing all kinds of negative things. We don't want them to control. They had all kinds of decrees against the Torah. So we should pray that Hashem will judge them and that they will fall down, like happened not long afterwards. Okay? Yeah. So, so Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is, is giving us the, the understanding that when we are speaking about someone in a positive way, it gives that person strength. And when there is a, ro a person that is doing wrong things, you don't want to give him strength. So don't, 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 don't praise someone like that. You have to praise the people that are going according to the Torah, that are, that are supporting Hashem in, an, in a conscious way. Okay, whatever the Romans did, it was supporting Hashem. Obviously, everything is supporting Hashem. Everything within the creation is part of Hashem's plan. But it's in an in a, in a indirect way. And because it's an indirect way, the Hashem can bring this, this positive influence into our life with a different nation that will be in line with the Torah. And that's what we want. Okay? Mm. So, okay, there's, there's, we, can, we can take that concept and, and speak about it like a, in a wider way, but I think that for now it's a, it makes the point. Oh, Hashem. Exactly. <laughs>